Ladies and gentlemen, this march to equality, it took more than a village. It took some very, very, very determined people, determined couples to ensure that love and equality came to town and that everyone could marry. So give it up for that, ladies and gentlemen. It happened. We can all now say, I do. And one of the key people involved in this fight, a fight for us, ladies and gentlemen, the director of the National Center for Lesbian Rights. Ladies and gentlemen, she's a fighter for you, the one, the only, the great, Kate Kendall! Love you. Go get them. Go get them. Good afternoon, everyone. How's your day going? I cannot believe what it is. The gift that we get to have marriage at the Supreme Court and two days later to be able to celebrate it at Pride. Congratulations. It is so moving to watch Heidi and Beata get married because finally, finally and for every generation hence, and no kid, no kid is ever gonna grow up again being told they can't have this. Never again, never again. And that is going to make such a difference. It's already made a difference. Coast to coast, every young person, every LGBT person, every queer person who's ever suffered indignity or shame or discrimination knows that they have been vindicated and this is a new day. Never again. You know that the National Center for Lesbian Rights has been fighting this fight for decades. We are your homegrown legal advocacy group. We started in 1977 right here in San Francisco. And while Friday was amazing and it was a great honor to be co-counsel in one of the key cases decided by the US Supreme Court, you know from 1977 to here, that's how long it took us to get to this moment. But we are not gonna be done. We are not done. We are not done. And you are not done. You helped us get to this moment. People you love, your families, your friends, your coworkers all got us to this moment. But we will not be done until that transgender African American living in a rural area, poor lesbian, living wherever she does, any gay person, any queer person, feels the dignity of what it means to be who they are. We are gonna be embraced and celebrated no matter who we are. No matter where you live, even if you do not feel, you look at what's happening here and you think that can never be my life. I can never be embraced for who I am. Whoever you are, we are coming for you. And we are not stopping until we give you the hug of what it means to be loved for who you are. So let's celebrate today. Take a rest tomorrow. And then on Tuesday morning, we get up and we do it for the rest of our community. Thank you so much. Have a great pride.